So here I can start off with down the middle. And then from here, I can show the anatomy as it was at the time of death. So everything is accurate, there's no rendering done. Since the uh, cadaver was flash frozen, there were scans that were taken of the cadaver itself. And then from there, you can see the anatomy as it was at the time of death. You can also isolate or annotate different parts of the system. So in this case, I can start by removing the skin, removing the skeletal system, and other structures until I'm left with the gastrointestinal system. From here, I can get a better view by just zooming in. And I can also get a posterior view by just giving it a little spin. And in this case, I can start removing different structures and getting the annotation of any structure I remove. And I have this undo button where I can bring everything back up. This is amazing. And in this case, you can also have concurrent uh, views of, let's say, the muscular skin and skeletal system, and also start removing different areas to see regional anatomy and other types of anatomy as well at the same time. If you don't want to look at the anatomy as a whole, you can also see regional anatomy. So in this case, I have the female head and neck. To mimic something that you find in surgery, you can also do natural cuts. So in this case, I have an incision made, and you can also see the relationship between the skin, the fat, and other structures. And as I showed earlier, you can go ahead and also remove structures here, and press this undo button. And what's interesting is, these are actually the scans that were done from the cadaver. So everything you see here is what we saw at 0.6 to 0.8 millimeter thickness. And so each time I turn around, um, slide through the section, I can see where it really lies on the way down. And you're not just limited to the head and neck, you also have areas like the brain, larger areas like the thorax and the abdomen, all the way down to the leg and foot. And what's most interesting to me is you can load in your own patient CT or MRI scan, and from there you can get a 3D model of what you're seeing. So here we have a post-operative scan of a patient with a brain aneurysm, and this is the actual CT that was provided. You can go ahead and slide through the CT and see exactly where the clips were placed as well. So if I go down here, it'll show where it is. And same functionality as before. You can go ahead and make a quick cut into the 3D model and see where the clips were placed as well. So it's kind of more intuitive when you see something in 3D where the clips were placed rather than just focusing on a CT. And you can also add in some vasculature if needed. And you can also move it back down. There's other ways where you can utilize this where I bring in transparent soft and hard tissue. And so in this case, you still see where the clips were placed.